Good afternoon. It's Wednesday, January 26, 2011. I'm Eric Shiner with Right Now on CNSNews.com. Washington is reacting to the State of the Union address. President Barack Obama proposing a five-year freeze on the federal budget. Proposing that starting this year, we freeze annual domestic spending for the next five years. Some lawmakers say it's not enough. Senator John Thune saying, quote, the analogy I would use is closing the barn door after the horse is already out. And quote. When it comes to raising tax rates by ending the Bush era tax cuts, Senator Rand Paul says that's the wrong move. I would extend them permanently. The thing is, is the marketplace has made the decision and are basing their business decisions on lower taxes. Anything you do to raise the taxes will give a bad signal to the marketplace that's already brought these into their business calculations. CNSNews.com brings you coverage of the State of the Union address as well as response from lawmakers on many issues. A different approach in dealing with the national debt is coming from former U.S. Senator Rick Santorum. He says the nation needs to end Medicare as a federal entitlement. On Medicaid, we need to do the same thing. We need to repeal the federal entitlement, which is a perverse incentive to, for the states to spend more money. And, 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 and turn the program back. Check out Terry Jeffrey's article to get the full details of Santorum's plan. And Santorum says he's considering making a presidential run. And that's a field that may contain many candidates, especially if the public feels the same way about the current president as actor Richard Dreyfuss does. But I disapprove of Obama. I disapprove of him furthering all of Bush's policies. I think it's, I think it's, one of the great opportunities lost and one of the great um, chances of a character in, American, in the American story to be much smaller than he might have been. Reporter Nicholas Balassi has a close encounter with the actor while he was in D.C. Click on his story to find out more. And there's no need to travel to another space to get all the information that you need. It's available right now on CNSNews.com.